very special and warm welcome to each of you tonight. This is New Heart Monday night, and we're glad uh, that you're here with us tonight. You know, I've been reading in my personal quiet time in First Chronicles. How many have ever built something? How many have ever built something? You ever, you ever, you know, with, like with a hammer and nails and that sort of thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had various experiences, not all pleasant building things. Um, I think uh, when I was probably 10 uh, or 11, something around there, my cousin and I decided we were going to build a tree house uh, in, the, in a big tree on, our, on my parents' property. And, uh, of course, we dragged some wood that my dad was had set aside for some other project, no longer usable for that project, unfortunately. Uh, and, uh, and we applied it to this, this vision of this two-story treehouse that we were going to build. The only problem is, is that we didn't realize that building a treehouse in a willow tree is not necessarily <laughs> a good idea. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, you can start out with the square, you know, but it doesn't always stay that way. Uh, and then I had uh, a rather uh, significant adventure building a uh, supersized deck in the backyard uh, in our house in Kent. And uh, I had a contractor friend of mine, he came out, took a look at it, and he said, well, he looked at the footings and the concrete and all the stuff that I had put in. He says, you could build a three-story house on this, on this foundation. <laughs> First deck I'd built, so... Give, give me a break. First Chronicles chapter 22 talks about building, building the temple. It was David's heart. David, a man after God's own heart. David, King David. Uh, it was his heart to build a place for God, a, a, uh, what they call the habitation for God. Now, we know God is a spirit. He doesn't dwell in houses. He doesn't dwell in any specific location, but it was, it was David's heart to build and honor the Lord with a, with a, a temple. So, so David sets out to do that, and the prophet comes and speaks to David and says, well, because you have been a warrior and have been responsible for the shedding of blood, uh, I, will, I will reserve the, the honor and the privilege of building uh, my temple that place that you desire for me to dwell, uh, for me to place my spirit, I will reserve that for your son Solomon. And so, so in uh, in First Chronicles chapter twenty-two, um, verse seventeen, it says, David also commanded all the leaders of Israel to help Solomon his son, saying, "Is not the Lord your God with you? Is not the Lord your God with you?" I want you to say that out loud with me. Uh, tonight. Is not the Lord your God with you? That's truth tonight. That's truth tonight. You know, sometimes we, we rely so much on our feelings, we'd say, well, I, you know what, Pastor Ron, I don't necessarily feel that, that, that God is with me. I don't always feel God's presence. You and I do not rely, do not base our spiritual life we do not base our walk with the Lord on feelings. Our emotions can ride a wave. How many figured that out already? Yeah, yeah, your emotions can ride a wave. We base the reality of who we are in Christ, not upon our feeling, but upon the truth of the Word of God. And we, listen, this, if it's anything, this life we're leading is a life of faith which means absolute confidence. It's a trust. It's, a, it's an unswerving belief in that God is who he says he is. He that would come to God, according to the, to the writer of Hebrews, he that would come to God must believe that he is and that he is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So your God is with you tonight. And I, I want you to know... Some of you that have had various experiences uh, out living the lifestyle uh, away from the Lord, I want you to know that, that God is all over you. Listen, you found your way back here. You are alive today. You're sucking air on planet Earth because God's grace covered you. Amen. Yeah. 
Yeah. God was watching over you. And even though you'd had no conscious awareness of God's presence in your life, did not negate the fact that the Spirit of God was all over you. God was watching you. The Word of God says he gives his angels charge over you. Listen, God's, God's goodness, God's goodness leads us to repentance. Isn't that good? Isn't that good? How many feel they deserve God's goodness? Yeah, not a one of us. Yeah, yeah. It's all grace, isn't it? It's all grace. And has he not given you peace on every side? For he has delivered the inhabitants of the land into my hand. And the land is subdued before the Lord and his people. Now here's the word, here's the word I want you to get tonight. Verse 19. Now set your mind and heart to seek the Lord your God. Set your mind and heart to seek the Lord your God. Set your mind, set your heart to seek the Lord your God. That's, those are the two compass points that you and I have in our lives every day we get up. The reason that Mumsy and I spend time with the Lord is that we are setting our mind and we're setting our heart to seek the Lord. If I do that in an intentional way, I can depend on the Holy Spirit to guide me through that day. How many know, how many know what it feels like to have the Holy Spirit guide you, lead you? How many oh, I have the Holy Spirit say to you, no, don't do that, do this? How many have had that experience? Yeah, yeah. That's the Holy Spirit guidance upon you. We set our mind, we set our mind and heart to seek the Lord your God. And notice this now also, verse 19, Arise and build the sanctuary of the Lord your God, so that the Ark of the Covenant, representing the presence of God, so that the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord and the holy vessels of God may be brought into the house built for the name of the Lord. Set your mind, arise and build, arise and build the sanctuary of the Lord. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19, the apostle uh, Paul writes to the first century believers in Corinth these words, Or do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you, whom you have from God? You are not your own. You are bought with a price, so glorify God in your body. Come on, guys. We are, we are building, we are building a sanctuary separated unto the Lord in my heart. When I get up in the morning and spend time with the Lord, what am I doing? I'm building that sanctuary, that, that holy habitation for God within me, that, that temple. I, I want to host the presence of God in that temple for that day. I want God's spirit to guide and to fill that space for me to sense his awesome presence within me, for him to have his perfect will played out in my life and to bring the Ark of the Covenant. The Ark of the Covenant means the presence of God. It's the symbol of the presence of God. That's what you and I are doing every day when we get up in the morning and we purpose to host God's presence in our life. God's presence, God's presence is, is the most cherished and valuable thing you and I will ever experience. Yeah, yeah. Now I want to I do something a little different at the end of this Monday and I'd like you to stand together with me. And I'd like you to put your hands up with me if you would please. Thank you, Jesus. Just begin to worship him with me. Would you do that? Just open your mouth. Open your mouth. Say, thank you, Lord, for your mercy to me. Thank you for your grace to me. Thank you for what you've done in my life, God. Thank you for the presence of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, for all that is your intent for my life, God. So, Lord, I choose to lean into that intent tonight. I choose to lean full heart into all your purposes for me tonight in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 
in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Now put your hand up on your forehead like this. Lord, I want to dedicate this mind unto you. I want this mind separated and consecrated to you, Lord. God, I want to think your thoughts, God. Lord, I want to communicate with you in my thought life, Lord, and in that which I speak from my mind, Lord, I want you, I want you to reign and to rule in my thought life, Lord, that everything I think would be that which would be honoring to you. Now, put your hand on your heart. Put your hand on your heart. Lord, I can't do anything about my heart. And so, Lord, I'm, I'm putting my hand on my heart tonight to say to you, Lord, you have access to this heart, Lord. We want, I want this life of mine, this heart of mine, to be a temple of the Holy Spirit. Lord, I want to host your presence every day. God, I want my life, my heart, Lord, to be a holy habitation separated unto you. And Lord, I pray tonight for any of those that are in this room in the sound of my voice that are struggling with whatever issue is going on in your life tonight, I pray in the name of Jesus, Lord, would you bring healing into that place tonight, we pray. So by grace through faith, Lord, we welcome you. Have your way in these hearts of ours tonight. We pray in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name.